today we are going to discuss about cam profile and its calculation at the end of this video you will be able to understand calculation related to cam profile like maximum velocity maximum acceleration etc for knife edge follower uniform velocity and having offset distance so let's see the description draw the profile of a cam operating a knife edge follower from the following data follower leaps through 40 mm that means stroke length 60 degree rotation that means ascent angle the follower remains at rest means dwell period follower then descends to its original position that means descent angle the follower remains at rest means rest dwell period the least radius of the cam is 50 that means minimum cam radius is given to you for the base circle the motion having ascent and descent is uniform velocity the axis of the follower is offset by 20 mm very important data and so that you have to draw the offset circle determine maximum velocity and maximum acceleration of the follower during its ascent and descent if the cam rotates at 200 rpm so here this problem having two division one is the drawing of the cam profile and second one is the calculation part i have written the description point wise so first of all draw the horizontal line with random length then take height as a follower stroke and then once again draw the horizontal line now take the scale here you can say 1 centimeter is equal to 10 degree so that the length of outstroke is 6 centimeter then length of dwell is 3 centimeter then length of return stroke as 6 centimeter then length of remaining dwell as 21 centimeter but you can't accommodate it in the sketchbook so you can draw this symbol at random distance now divide this outstroke into the six equal parts and give the name as 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and draw the vertical line passing through all these points similarly you can do for the return stroke give the name as 0 dash 1 dash up to 6 dash and draw the vertical lines passing through all these points now here uniform velocity for both outstroke and return stroke and so that you have to draw the straight inclined line for the outstroke and return stroke so it is like that and for the dwell period it must be horizontal line Now mark this intersection point and give the name as A, B, C, D, E, F. Similarly, mark the intersection point for the return stroke and give the name as G, H, I, J, K, L. So this is your displacement diagram. Now start the cam profile. So for that you have to take randomly any point and give the name as O now here offset distance is given to you so you have to draw the circle that is called as offset circle having radius 20 mm with the help of the compass and then draw the vertical center line which is tangent to this circle next minimum cam radius is given to you and so that you can draw the base circle with radius equal to 50 mm and so that you can draw the symbol of the knife edge follower at the intersection point of base circle and center line and mark this point as 0 now join this 0 and O point now here direction of the cam rotation is not given to you so you can assume it in the clockwise direction 
and show that all your angles must be opposite to this direction from this line. So let's start from the 60 degree in anti-clockwise direction, then 30 degree, then 60 degree, then automatically it will be 210 degree. Now divide this outstroke into the six equal parts with the help of the protector. So each division will be 10 degree. Now give the name as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 as you have given in the displacement diagram. Now similarly you can divide this return stroke into the six equal part with the help of the protector and give the name as 0 dash 1 dash up to 6 dash as you have given here in the return stroke. Next, your offset distance is given to you. So keep in mind that you have to draw first the tangent line to this offset circle which are passing through this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 like this. So look at carefully, these all are actually tangent lines to this offset circle and simultaneously passing through this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 points. Similarly, for the return stop, draw the tangent line to this offset circle and passing through these all points. Now, transfer this distance 1a on this tangent line. Next, transfer this distance 2b on this line with the help of the compass. Next, transfer this distance 3c. Next, 4d. Next, 5e. Next, 6f. Similarly, you can follow for the return stroke. That means transfer this distance next 1 dash h, next 2 dash i, next 3 dash j, next 4 dash k, and at last 5 dash l. Now join from 0 to 6 dash with the help of the compass. And then draw the smooth curve passing through all these points. So this is your cam profile. So keep in mind in the examination only you have to draw this as a dark line in the displacement diagram and this came profile. The remaining work should be light. Now the second part that is the calculation. So look at this point number 8. Determine maximum velocity and acceleration of the follower during its ascent and descent. And here you can see the ascent and descent is uniform velocity. So look at the formula for the uniform velocity v is equal to omega s upon theta. So I am going to write over here. Now, as you know that omega is equal to 2 pi n upon 60. That is the angular velocity. And n is given to you 200 rpm. So if you put it and simplify then you will get omega is equal to 20.94 radian per second. Now I can find the maximum velocity for ascent period. So here I have used theta a instead of this theta for the ascent period. So theta a is the ascent angle. Once again the very interesting point that theta must be in radian and here ascent angle is in degree. So first convert this degree into radian and you know that 
this is the formula to convert degree into radian so if i put theta as 60 degree and multiplied by pi by 180 then i will get theta in radian so now i can use this value into this equation so omega is 20.94 s is the stroke length and that is given to you as 40 mm theta is in radian so if you simplify then you will get as 800 and here we have taken stroke length as 40 mm so the unit is mm per second similarly for the descent period i can use the same formula but here it is theta d that means descent angle but in our description ascent angle and descent angles both are same so i will get the same value that means maximum velocity for the descent is also 800 mm per second now next question maximum acceleration and that is equal to zero here you can see for the uniform velocity your maximum acceleration is always zero so i can write the reason because the motion during ascent and descent is uniform velocity that's why i can say maximum acceleration is equal to zero so this is your next answer if you want to see more engineering videos then subscribe my youtube channel and go to playlist thanks my dear friends Press the like button to appreciate this video.